Hi everyone, Letty here with this beautiful place, Tarot. Today's reading is kind of a, a precursor to um, kicking off Halloween. Um, if you know me, you know that I went to HorrorCon about two weekends ago. Uh, we got dressed up, we did some cosplay. And if you are on my Patreon, I did do a Home Goods and Spirit Halloween haul. So check out my Patreon. I am going to start building up my Patreon again, guys. I was going to get off of YouTube a while back as well as um, Patreon, but I decided to keep it. So I did do a um, haul as far as Home Goods and Spirit Halloween because they're open here um, in Chicago. So um, shouts out to everyone who is into the occult, into witchy things, and into tarot. So today's reading is going to be uh, what demons are around you. We are going to uh, explore this a little bit. Um, this came across through not only talks with, you know, conversations with people, but, um, you know, what do you believe? You know, comment down below. Let me know what you believe. Do you believe in a demiurge or a demigod? You know, one one controller of the universe, one controller who who created us one creator of the universe i should say right um so comment down below let me know what your beliefs are let me know if these kind of videos scare you um that kind of is my intention <laughs> being that we went to horror con uh we've been watching a lot of uh horror movies and i've just been exploring my shadow side so we are going to get into it okay pile one is going to be the ghost Pile two is going to be the black catito or the black cat. And pile three is going to be the Hamza or the eye of God. Okay, we are going to use the horror tarot. Love this deck. We are going to use the occult tarot. We will see which demons are around you. And we will use the Caroline Miss archetype cards just in case somebody sent, you know, something to you. We want to know what they sent, right? Or who sent it. So... We're going to use this. Comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. Also, follow me on Instagram, Patreon, and TikTok. Um, I have those up. And, yeah, just, you know, have fun with this, guys. Um, Been drinking coffee out of my Beetlejuice mug. <laughs> yeah, we've been watching a lot of scary movies and stuff. Which is always fun, right? It's always fun. Okay, so... Um, pile one, the ghost, the ghost, who or what is around you? Let's get some information on you first, right? This will be, um, a little clarification. This will be a little bit of an insight into who you are. Okay. Um, if this resonates, then you know that this is your pile and then move on to the second portion, which is what demons are getting sent to you. And then the third portion is who sent it, right? Maybe nobody sent it. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're just around you. Okay. So pile one. Let me start off with prayer. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, ancestors, Ama, Apa, Abuelos y Abuelas. Only benevolent, only good spirits are to be here. No malefic, no trickster spirits. Amen. Give me three, please. Let me know. Top of the deck, middle of the deck, back of the deck. <clears throat> Spirit who is looking at pile one let me get some information on my viewer okay we have the lovers okay so you could be a gemini you could be in love with somebody at this time um this looks like there's something definitely around you i would say a probably a succubus is around you that's what i'm getting the feeling of um but you could also work with dark entities, uh, dark demonic spirits. You know, I followed Damien Echoes. And one thing Damien Echoes says, guys, is demons are the shadow side of the archangels. Okay? So I don't know if you believe that or not, but let me know. Comment down below. All right? So we have here what looks like a succubus. You could be a Gemini or have Gemini, rising, moon, north node somewhere in your chart you could also i'm getting air sign with this so you could be an air sign aquarius libra or gemini 
So this looks a little bit like a vampire as well. Maybe you're into vampires. What else were we watching? We were watching The Lost Boys recently. That's another good movie. I bought a t-shirt. <laughs> a Lost Boys t-shirt. Um, yeah, we're, we're getting ready for Halloween too, guys. Maybe you're like me. You're getting ready for, for Halloween and Christmas. I don't know. But comment down below if this resonates with you. Vampires, succubus, incubus, things like that. There is a, okay, there's a, a group named Incubus. And I'm hearing the lyrics to the, the song Drive. So maybe you like that song. Maybe you know who Incubus is here. They sing I Wish You Were Here too. So they're kind of a early 2000 band. Okay. Let's see who else is looking at pile one. We have here Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. So you could be somebody who's standing in their power at this time. You could be an Aries Leo or Sag. You don't have to be. You could have long hair. You could really love uh, horror movies, Halloween, horror con, cosplay like that too. I'm also getting. Um, maybe you wear like a long white nightgown. That's for somebody. Um, I was a Crystal Lakes camp counselor when we dressed up for cosplay, guys. So if you're on my Instagram, then you saw that. My guy was Jason. It was fun. It was fun. My daughter was Jennifer from Jennifer's Body. It was a good time. So Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, or it could be King of Wands, right? We can interchange the sex in these. So you could be a King or Queen of Wands. Yep. Mm hmm You can definitely um, be turned on by the occult, all right? Um, the darker side, you may be embracing your darker side. I just heard Lilith, okay? So maybe Lilith is important to you. Maybe you rever Lilith. Um, I just heard it, so I got to say it. Bottom of the deck, Spirit's telling me to take it, the chariot. So you could be a Cancer or you could be moving victoriously in your life. I'm hearing that you have a lot of celebrations in this life. Um, maybe you are invoking um, certain entities. Maybe Santa Muerte, uh, El Legun, something like that. Maybe you're Dominican because now I'm getting like hoodoo and voodoo is coming up, guys, with the chariot card. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, El Legua, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Maybe like the darker saints as well. Maybe you do like 21 Division, I'm also hearing. Um, shout out to my Dominicans. Mm -hmm. One of my best friends is Dominican. She's from Washington Heights. Shout out to New York. Um, so yeah, you could work with darker, darker entities. I'm also hearing Santa Muerte if you're Mexican. Shout out to my Mexicans. Y'all know if you don't know, I'm Mexican. Mexican-American, right? Okay, so the chariot, you could be using... Um, any anything to help you get ahead in life okay whether you agree with that or not let me know comment down you know in the comment section keep stuff respectful though guys keep stuff respectful all right hmm this is interesting so i got the queen of wands the chariot and the lovers here um two major arcana in the middle of a powerful court card. So you're very powerful is what I'm hearing from Spirit Pile 1. You're very powerful. Maybe you know your witchy side. Maybe you embrace it. Some of you, okay, I'm getting told that it's been passed down through your DNA. So you know these things. You know, um, you definitely uh, know your magic. <laughs> it's exactly what, how I heard it. So I got to say it. You definitely know your magic. You know how to do incantations, spells. You know how to invoke. You also know how to banish, I'm hearing, pile one. So you're a bad mama jamma. I just heard mage. So you might be a mage. You may be higher up there, uh, you know, in terms of magic. You may be a mage or a sage. Sage. You could call yourself a sage. Let's get, let's get one more. Give me one for the queen of wands spirit. What else? Who else picked pile one, please? Okay, right here. Yeah, you may also do um, the lesser pentagram, all right, or work with the pentagram a lot. We got Ace of Pentacles, and I feel like this wanted to flip out, so I'm taking it. You could also be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here. 
And then we got here six of pentacles. So yeah, you could work with, you know, Lucifer. You could be a Luciferian. Um, yeah, or uh, Capricorn. Okay, I'm hearing Capricorn. <clears throat> I heard Capricorn with that card. And then this flipped out. So we got Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, you definitely may be doing stuff. Uh, I just heard um, not only banishing ritual spirit. What's the other thing? Um, vain, baneful magic. Baneful magic, I'm hearing. You could do baneful magic uh, to go after your, your enemies. Um, you can also do mirror magic. Okay, thank you, spirit. Glamour magic, that's what I'm hearing. That's, that's what I'm hearing. Glamour magic. Okay, you may be a beautiful woman as well, is what I'm hearing. Beautiful man, good looking. I hear vanity. So somebody here, you know, you may be a little bit vain, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Different strokes, different folks, huh? You might drink coffee because I'm getting, like, I want a sip of coffee. All right, so that's you. If you resonate with anything I said for this first portion, then let's keep going, okay? This is the horror horror tarot. It's a cute, cute deck. I like it. Bought this a while back ago. Haven't really used it, but I'm going to be using it a lot more now. All right, so let's see what uh, demons or what entities are around you. And I just got a confirmation there with my phone. Am I reusing these cards? Yes, they're telling me to reuse these cards. All right. So this is the occult tarot. Comment down below. Let me know if you use this deck. Let me know if you like it. I only use it for certain, certain readings. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck. I also want to get the angels version of this, but I've read a lot of reviews online and people say they don't like it as, as well as this one. So let's see. Let's see, what if any, right? What if any uh, demons are around you? I definitely am getting Incubus, Succubus energy. Uh, pile one. Give me three, please, Archangel Michael. Give me three. All right, right here. We got here, Beezlebub. Beezlebub, mm. All right, makes manifest the apparitions of demons, sets demons upon men to destroy them with vices. Definitely, I, that's what I heard. Maybe it was vanity I heard, but I also heard was hearing vices as well. Beezlebub, the moon. This is the moon in tarot. Um, when you get this deck, just so you know, it also tells you the archangel in Hebrew that presides over this demon, just so you know. So Beezlebub, I don't know if you guys ever seen uh, the new version, the Netflix version of Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, the darker version. Um, in that show, Beezlebub comes out and uh, she kind of manifests him, I want to say, through, through the dream realm. So I'm getting that with the moon here. Um, you could be dreaming of Beezlebub. Beezlebub could be uh, invoked when you're sleeping is also what I'm hearing. So makes manifest the apparitions of demons. Apparitions. What's what's going on with apparitions, spirit? Yeah, I'm I'm getting told visions. You may also have visions of Beezlebub. Um. Mm, let me know. Comment down below if you ever see demons because I do. My spirit guides let me see certain demons. Um, if they're around you, they'll let me see you. Um, <laughs> they'll let me see you. So somebody here that's watching me has a demon attached is what I'm hearing. Um, yeah, yeah. Somebody here, you have a demon attached to you. Could be Beezlebub. Maybe you work with Beezlebub. Okay, give me one more. And then we have Halfus. Halfus builds towers and provides weapons and ammunition. Sends soldiers to appointed places. Halfus, two of swords. Two of swords. So maybe you like um, swords is what I'm hearing. Maybe you're dreaming of knights is also what I'm hearing. Two of swords. Um, I might do another dream reading as well too, guys. Because um, I asked on Instagram and a few of you guys asked for that. So I might do another dream reading. Halfus. Halfus. Oh, there's another one under it. 
Halfus and Malfus. Wow, look at that. I didn't even know that. There was another one under. Malfus. Oh, there's a few under here. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, there's a few. I was going to only pick three, but Spirit's telling me keep going. All right, so we got Malfus, Ten of Swords. Builds houses and high towers. Again, with the tower. Destroys an enemy's thoughts and desires and all they have built. Gives good familiars. Okay, so you might see a lot of uh, crows or black birds around you. If you do, that's at a confirmation that Malfus is around you. Um, you could have recently, something could have happened to your house or your stability. And that could be an added um, an added message that somebody sent this demon to you is what I'm getting. Builds houses and high towers. So maybe to you've like set yourself amongst a fortress because I was getting with the ace of pentacles that you've drawn like a pentagram around your house. So like I said, maybe you know how to do the lesser banishing ritual or something like that, the pentagram. Yeah. Rom rom we have steals treasures from kings destroys cities and the dignities of men tells of things past present and future causes love between friends and foes okay so somebody here you could have hit a deer recently or something with a deer maybe you see a lot of deer or fawns um this is giving me a lot of vulture energy okay and when i said vulture i also heard marauder so if you guys don't know what a marauder is, a marauder is um, somebody or a group of people that will go in and steal things in your house, okay? So let me know, comment down below if, if like you've been a victim of either vandalism or like stuff getting stolen. Three of Swords, Rom. So also, I'm getting told with this card that somebody may have done something to break up a union here. You may have got this demon around you because somebody tried to do a, what kind of spell is a spirit? I don't want to say a freezer spell, but something to block your love is what I'm hearing. Or somebody has tainted your love or did something, if you're in a relationship, to break you up with somebody. That's only going to resonate for a few people. And we have all swords up here. So you definitely could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Or wh whoever sent this to you could also be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. All right, we got one more at the bottom of the deck. And I was saying this earlier. I said Lucifer. Somebody here, you could definitely be a Luciferian. Provides liberation and illumination. Incites jealousy and envy. So keep in mind, uh, Lucifer is the light bearer. And you see that? It just It just slid. I had no intentions of this deck sliding like this. So also Baal, the Emperor. So the Death card, um, Scorpio energy, and Baal, the Emperor, which is for me, Capricorn, and Aries energy. So I'm taking both of these because I'm getting told to. All right. So definitely you might have very powerful dark forces around you. I mean, Lucifer, Baal, and Beelzebub are the three that I know of that are like super, super strong. Um, comment down below if you know you have tried to clean some stuff off or you have gone to somebody to clean some stuff off is also what I'm getting told. We got here, controls the weather, rain and lightning, cures or causes pestilence. So maybe it's been raining or thunderstorming a lot in your area. And that's why is because people are invoking or working with bail. Lucifer, keep in mind, is the light bearer, right? Uh, the Illuminati is what I'm hearing. So somebody here, you can know that like you have Illuminati watching you. If you're a YouTuber or, okay, spirit saying you're a tarot card reader, you're an Aries, I'm seeing your face in my head. Uh, you know that the Illuminati watches your channel. You have around 15K subscribers. I won't say your name, but if you're watching me, which I think you are because I'm seeing your face, then, yeah, you got Luciferians watching you. Ah, I'm drinking my coffee. 
All right, comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. And we're going to keep it moving and grooving. We are moving on to the archetype cards. If anyone or anything sent something to you, how long ago did they send it, Spirit? We're going to do some dice. This is just a six-headed dice. How long ago did somebody send a demon to pile one? We got up to one year ago. One year ago. So you have probably been trying to clean uh, for a while. And that's not normal normal cleansing you got to do there, hon. That's not, you know, a salt bath is going to work very little on that type of energy. So let's see who, if anyone, could have sent this or these demons to pile one give me three spirit top of the deck middle of the deck back of the deck i'm hearing vampire so somebody who wanted to steal your energy pile one that's what i'm hearing give me three spirit also i'm hearing dragon dragon and a snake so that might resonate for you if you were looking for a buzzword or something like that i just heard dragon and snake Okay, so we have mentor in the reverse. This could have been somebody that tried to teach you magic. Shadow attribute. It was like this. So I'm only going to read the shadow, guys. Inability to allow the student to move on to the role of master, imparting false instruction. And for somebody else, I just saw your face. Um, this could have been like a voodoo practitioner that, what do they call these? Oh, like your compadre. Like your compadre. Um, this could have been like a voodoo practitioner that was trying to teach you magic or trying to have you as a, a student. This is somebody else I'm seeing in my head. Shadow attribute only. So this could have been, oh, okay. La pa Padrino. Padrino is also what I'm hearing in Spanish. So either you speak Spanish or, or you're from your Afro-Cuban or something like that pile one that could resonate for you somebody here definitely works with 21 division we got hedonist yeah <laughs> yeah uh yeah inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life celebrates the beauty in yourself what i say somebody here you're very beautiful um i think this person was motivated by sex and they could have sent an incubus and succubus to you Pursues pleasure to the detriment of health, indulges at the expense of others. So um, if you're watching me, you probably know that you have an incubus or succubus on you. You could be very lustful is what I'm hearing. Um, you could be given in to a lot of temptation, especially with that Baal, Lucifer, and Beelzebub energy around you guys. Um, whoever did this was a talented mage is what i'm hearing high priestess high priest pile one you got mixed up with somebody that uh just wants revenge on you Ooh, pile one comment down below there's some tea here somebody wants deep revenge on you pile one and you know this this is not like with this energy guys you know what's going on you're probably a high priest or high priestess too or a mage is what I'm getting told. So this person or entity, they're definitely embracing their shadow. They're definitely, you know, having sex, basically sucking and fucking on anything is what I'm hearing. That's what that's how I heard it. So that's how I'm going to say it. So yeah, they're sucking and fucking on anything. You better watch this energy. This could also be somebody you slept with. They could have did like a mojo bag or something. Put that shit under your bed is what I'm hearing. Ooh wee, there's some tea for pile one. We got monk nun. And then we got gossip too. Spirit's telling me to take gossip as well. This person could have, okay, they have flying monkeys around them. They have people that will do their bidding, is what I'm hearing. Um, let's let's read this one first. Cause I'm getting a lot of dark energy with this. Thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, betraying confidences. So this could have also been a friend, somebody you considered a friend, somebody that you may have been doing magic with. Oh, I just heard a Ouija board. 
Somebody here, you were opening up portals and did not know what you were doing. Okay, monk, none. Well, I'm going to read the light and the shadow. Light attribute, selfless devotion and single-minded dedication. What I say about high priest, high priestess, and now my throat chakra wants to close because they don't want me saying who they are. Monk, none. Selfless devotion of single-minded dedication to spirit. So this is somebody who definitely works with spirits. Negative judgment of the physical world. Excess piety. <laughs> I'm thinking of a, a joke I heard. Nobody is as nobody is as pious as a reformed nun. <laughs> That's funny. Nobody is as pious as a reformed nun. Or a reformed hooker. <laughs> Monk nun. Um somebody here. Okay. This is what I'm hearing. This person that did this passes themselves off as a spiritualist, as an advisor, uh, working in light arts, but they're really not. They really know that they're dark. And they know that... Um. Oh, wow. I just heard they're gaining followers. They're gaining followers. Wow. Wow. So they might uh, pass themselves off as like a high priest, high priestess, somebody who's teaching. Um, they're definitely teaching magic, I just heard. They're definitely teaching magic out here. This is definitely somebody who's higher, higher in the higher realms. It could be a Luciferian, could be a um, Illuminati member. Okay, all right. All right, comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. Um, am I doing names? Okay, spirit time to do some names. Comment, let me know if this resonates. This could be your name or their name. The spirit saying do some names, so I'm gonna be obedient. We got I, I'm hearing Ingrid, Isabel. We got E, Evelyn, Evan, Eddie, Edo, Edo. Some I, I just heard Edo. Somebody's African. C, Charlie, Coleman, Christian, Carlos, Carmen, Corey, Carla. Cards. Somebody does cards. They also are a reader. H, hedonist. They're definitely a hedonist. Hector, Holly, Horatio, Horace, Hannah. Okay, hold on. There's somebody spell it out. They might be in the CIA, this person. This person might be in the CIA watching you. Um, I just heard evil. So this person is evil. They're they're not benefic, they're a malefic person. Um Huck, Huck, Huckleberry. I don't know why that's important. I heard Huckleberry. Something Huckleberry. Um, shy Chicago. Somebody here could be in Chicago. Pile one. This ain't my pile, by the way, but you could resonate with Chicago. Maybe you lived here at one point. I'm hearing you could have lived here. You could have lived in Chicago. Europe, EU. I'm hearing Europe. You could be from Europe. A part of Europe, spirit. I heard Italy. I just heard Italy. I. Italy. Ooh, yeah. Somebody here, you're by the Vatican. Oh, somebody in the Vatican is watching you. If you're a tarot reader, somebody in the Vatican is watching you. Ooh, wee. I, I feel that message strong. You know that they're in the Vatican, too, watching you. Mm, okay, that was pile one. <laughs> <laughs> moving on, moving on to pile two. Comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. Let me know if you like it. Yep. Keep it moving and grooving. All right, we're going to move on to pile two. Pile dose, pile dose. The black gatito. What demons are around you, if any, right? If any, who sent them? Mm, pile one was a doozy if you feel so inclined <laughs> go back and watch pile one okay 
pile dose, pile dose. Let me clean off my cards a little bit. Y'all like my Beetlejuice cup? Yeah. I jacked my guy for it. <laughs> it's okay. He jacked me for my Marvel shirt. He said, and my Pac-Man shirt. Okay, so pile two. How will you know that this is your pile? Let me say some things that will resonate with you. Comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. This is the horror, terror, terror, that roll. Give me three, please, spirit. Let me know who picked pile number two, pile two. Make it timeless, please. Thank you. All right. We have here four of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. You could be retreating right now. You could be isolating. I'm hearing you could be uh, going into hermit mode and healing right now. You may have black hair. Um, you may have really long nails too, pile two. You may have really long nails. You may also like vampires. Okay. All right. Am I taking this whole stack, spirit? No. You're telling me just this one. Okay, we have Eight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could be a hard worker. Um, you could also know that somebody at work did magic against you, pile two. This is somebody from work that did something against you. Um, somebody you worked with. I heard colleague, work colleague, co-worker. Bottom of the deck, we have here Ten of Wands. Yeah, burden. Somebody wanted to give you burdens. They wanted to block your flow. Um, they could have sent. What did they send to them? Could be uh, a dark force entity. Could also be a ghost is what I'm hearing. They could have said a ghost. To you. You could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We don't have water yet. Mm. Give me one more spirit. Give me one for the Four of Swords. Why are you retreating? Oh, okay. Because you put burdens. You were placed with burdens. Extra work, I just heard. Give me one place for Four of Swords. Okay, right here. I, I'm gonna have to go get my glasses, y'all. Maybe you wear glasses because I didn't bring my glasses over here. The hermit, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, the hermit. So, and I'm I said that, so I guess I really didn't need to clarify four swords because I said the hermit, you're, you're hermiting. You could be a Virgo, thank you, spirit. Spirit's like you said it, you could be a Virgo. Um, you could be hiding away in your house, you don't go out very much. This person did something to block your flow of money or to stop you from leaving the house. Somebody here, I just heard a uh, social disorder. You have like, um, what's this called, spirit? Like you have anxiety when it comes to interacting. Social disorder. Okay, you have like a social anxiety when it comes to meeting people. That's because somebody placed something on you. The hermit. Where are my glasses at? I don't even know. You might wear glasses, pile too, because now my eyes are like really straining to see this writing. They could have did something to your eyesight as well. Thank you, spirit. Spirit's like you said it. They could have done something to your eyesight. Ooh, somebody put something over you so you wouldn't see who they are, is what I'm hearing. They cloaked themselves. They did something to cloak you so that you wouldn't stand out. Maybe you were shining too bright at work is what I'm hearing. Ooh-wee. Pile two. There's some tea here too. Somebody wanted you not to stand out at work. So if you're a YouTuber, I'm seeing a cauldron, guys. Somebody definitely mixed some shit up in a cauldron. I'm also seeing a mocajete. <laughs> I'm Mexican, guys. A more in Pazel is what they call it, or what they call that? Pazel or whatever, that you mix it up. We have one. Mocajetes. They're showing me that. 
somebody was mixing up ingredients here. They did herb magic or did something to stop you from shining. They wanted you to be a hermit. You can call yourself something hermit on YouTube. Mm, okay. All right. Am I taking this card, Spirit? Yes. They're telling me to take it. And here we got Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you or them could be a Queen of Cups. And now we got Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio, I'm hearing. Specifically, Scorpio. You could be an empath, and this could be a narcissist doing this. Mm, they wanted to shine. You know, narcissists love to shine. Yes, they do. Uh-huh. I just heard Leo. Leos like to shine. You could be a Leo. Or they wanted to stop you from shining like a Leo. Look, the sun is the brightest star in the sky. And in case you haven't noticed, the sun is getting hotter. So ain't no way you're going to block out the shininess of the sun. You just not. Don't even try it. Don't even attempt. So you could be a Leo. They try to stop your shine. So now you're, okay, you could be like depressed. You could be feeling really tired. Especially if you're a Leo. You could be feeling really tired and retreating a lot. Maybe you're not uploading as much if you are a tarot reader here on YouTube. Okay. What if any uh, demons have been sent to pile? What's a golem? I keep hearing like a golem. I don't know. I keep hearing it. Golem. Um, a golem. I don't know. Give me three spirit. What has been sent? What demons are around pile two, please? We have Andras. Sowed of discord, slayer of men. The chariot. Yeah, somebody here is definitely a... a... <clears throat> they don't want me to talk. Somebody here is definitely a cancer. So whoever did this to you was definitely a cancer. Andra, sower of discord, slayer of men. Yeah, they wanted you to have discord. Somebody here could also resonate with a wolf or a coyote. A coyote. Next, we have Elegos. Elegos. You, somebody came from pile one. Revels knowledge of forthcoming battles and procures the favor of lords and kings. King of swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So this person, I'm hearing strategic in business. This person um, could have this demon around you, Eligos, to t run back to him or her and tell them what you're doing for strategy reasons, you know, Shout out to my military. If you all know me, you know I was in the military. Um, you know, when you're in the military, they they teach you a little bit, right? Oh, they don't teach everybody the secrets, right? But I did have a secret clearance. So one of the things uh, that I did was I was a sonar tech, you know. So sonar techs, we look up subs in the water, right? We listen for subs. Um, they're showing me this. They're showing me this. This... This demon is around you to go back and give this person information so they could also be remote viewing you. Thank you, spirit. They're remote viewing you, Pio 2. Um, you might have something pulling on your feet at night or like pushing you. They're showing me somebody like push you. That's this demon that's around you. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, spirit's telling me. Horus, Horus, destroys the burns, destroys and burns all enemies when requested, speaks of the creation of the world, tells the past and the future. Yeah, Knight of Swords. So this could be a, this person looks like a rat. And I told you I heard dragon and what else did I hear? Snake. This person is a rat. The person who sent these demons to you. Destroys and burns all enemies when requested. Speaks of the creation of the world. Tells the past and the future. This is definitely a 
tarot reader. If you're a tarot reader, this is another tarot card reader. Pile two, specifically for pile two. If you're a reader, they're a reader. And they want you to retreat and be a hermit. They don't want you to shine. I'm getting that message very clearly. Give me one more spirit. I want to shuffle. Give me one on my top left hand side. What else is around them? I feel like there's something else that I'm not saying. Archangel Michael. Thank you. <clears throat> Lucifer. What did I say? Somebody came from pile one. I knew it. Somebody came from pile one. Provides liberation and illumination. Incites jealousy and envy. Yeah. I, I knew it. Because I was getting light. Light. They're, they're afraid of your light. So this could be also Illuminati or people who have... Oh, somebody who's done a contract. Somebody who has put you up as a contract, who has put you up as a sacrifice. Thank you, spirit. Pile two. This person put you up as a sacrifice. Mm. Nope, as well. Pile two. This person put you up as a sacrifice. Mm. The death card in tarot. You could be a Scorpio. You can be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a Cancer, or this person could be. I knew there was something I wasn't saying. I kept saying light, light, the sun. That's why. Lucifer. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see who this person is. What is their shadow attributes? Who, if anybody, sent... Oh, okay. There's somebody rolled the dice. How long ago did this person send these demons to pile two? One year. Somebody definitely came from pile one. I feel the energy the same. You're definitely watching all the piles. Why do y'all do that? <laughs> I don't like when people do that. Y'all know if I don't like that. Because you're just going to get repeated messages. <laughs> I'm hearing from my spirit guide. They're trying to see if, uh, if I'm going to keep saying. <laughs> If I'm going to keep saying what they already know. Okay. Give me three, spirit. Give me three, please. All right. Destroyer. That's the second time that word came up. Destroyer. Intoxication with destructive power. Destroying others' dreams or potentials. Yeah. This person knows that they do magic to destroy people and then they go and hide. Because earlier they didn't want me to say who they were. Releasing what is potentially destructive, preparing for a new life. Yeah, this person tries to manifest the life that they want by destroying others. Oh, this is a masculine energy. So that you know, pal, too. This is a masculine doing this shit. King. Excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. Yeah, they. Uh, I'm telling you, they're doing this just for the shits and giggles of doing it. They know they're doing it. Pile two. This could be somebody you don't even know. This could be like a straight up stranger. Pile two. Just doing it for shits and giggles. Bottom of the deck. Hero heroine. Passion for a journey of personal empowerment. What I say? They doing this for the power. Personal power. Shadow attribute. Escapism and a false sense of heroism. Yeah. They do this just to, they destroy people's lives just to feel good about themselves. This is somebody who did not heal. They got lots of wounds, I'm hearing. Lots and lots of wounds. This person was abused as a child, pile two. Ooh, wait, they're showing me an image. Wow, somebody was abused as a child. Here. Okay, moving on to Pio 3. Comment down below. Let me know if this resonates, okay? <clears throat> and somebody, you, you keep coming on all the piles, so. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I guess. My spirit guides are like, at least they're watching, right? Pio 3, the Hamza or the Eye of God. Somebody here is deeply religious, I'm hearing. Deeply religious. Could be you, could be... Um, these people watching you, Pile 3. Okay, so I'm going to say some things about you using the horror, terror, tarot, bedroll. I don't know why I can't say tarot all of a sudden. But um, horror, tarot, 
Um, give me three cards, Spirit. Let me know who my watcher is. If this resonates, then go on to the second and third card. But if it doesn't resonate, then pick another pile. Okay, pile three. Pile numero tres. Who are you, pile three? Who is my watcher who's watching for pile three, Spirit? Who are they? I'm hearing you're powerful. You're powerful, power, pile three. We got here. Five of Pentacles. So you could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You could also use the pentagram, lesser banishing rituals. You um may have a pentagram necklace is what I'm hearing. You might have a pentagram ring is what they're showing me. You have jewelry with pentagrams on it. You might do banishing rituals, the lesser banishing ritual, the pentagram, stuff like that. Okay. Nine of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. You could always be up in your head. Um, you could be over strategizing, overthinking, overthinking yourself. You might be criticizing yourself a lot. Pile three. You could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Nine of Swords. They want you to be up in your head. Bottom of the deck. We have Seven of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is a dark force entity that's around you. And I was hearing Golem for Pile 2. This is a dark force entity around you. Pile 3. Seven of Swords. Um, lie, cheat, steal. So they did something around you to where people will always lie, cheat, and steal. Or this is how they want you to be viewed in a negative light is what I'm getting. They want you to be down and out. They want you to overthink. And they are sending dark entities around you. But I'm hearing it's not working, Pile 3. It's not working. It's not affecting you. Um, they might even want you to lose your mind. Be down and out like them, I'm hearing. This is definitely revenge magic, baneful magic. Oh, okay. Give me three more, Spirit. Three more, please. We got here the sun. Yeah, somebody definitely came from pile two. The sun, um, they could have tried to invoke Lucifer himself to come and uh, do battle against you, I'm hearing. You could be a Capricorn or a Leo. This person could be a Capricorn or a Leo that tried to do this. Um, they try to do something against your looks. They try to do something so that you wouldn't be as pretty or as good looking. And you wouldn't shine like the sun. The sun is the star, just <laughs> brightest star in the sky. Like I said, for pile two. I know somebody's coming to all three piles. It's all good. But you're not going to stop the shine of the sun. You're just not. If you're on YouTube, pile three. If you're a tarot card reader, they're trying to block your shine. They want you down and out. Because this is clarifying five of pentacles. Mm. Like I said, I've, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Nobody robs empty tombs, okay? They know that you have a destiny. They know you have a path. You could have a North Node in Leo, too, is what I'm hearing. Pile three. They know you have a destiny. They know you have a path. You're on your purpose, and they want to stop it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, eight of pentacles. You're doing your shit. You're working hard. You could be more profitable than them. You could have more followers than them, more subscribers. Oh, somebody here does like a cooking channel or like a home goods channel. Oh, check me out on Patreon, guys. I just did a, a home goods haul and a spirit Halloween haul. Okay? If you got me on Patreon. I'm going to be uploading a lot more. Keep in mind, Patreon gets these videos ad-free. And first, shout out to Monet. Monet won August's free reading. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're hardworking. You're hardworking. You're on your shit. This is why they they want you to lose your mind. I'm hearing um Avant. I could read your mind, babe. I know what you're thinking. This person's trying to get into your mind. They're trying to um like learn your thoughts. <laughs> 
They're trying to learn your thoughts. This is uh, somebody who's very psychic doing this shit on you. Or that's you. You're very psychic. Clarify this card spirit. Clarify seven of swords. Yeah. They want you to lie. Give me one. Give me one spirit for seven of swords. Clarify it. Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. So these are both entities, right? So they could have sent like a ghost or a dark force entity around you, but yours, your warrior spirits are stronger. You're like, oh, you pop up on them. Like, oh, okay, you're trying to attack me? Uh, uh, try again. <laughs> try again. Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. You pop up on them. You're... Your spirit team pops up on them. Like, uh, sorry. I'm hearing they in intercept. Intercept? They intercept this energy. Your spirit team, pile three. They intercept anything that's getting sent to you. Wow. Give me one more. Give me one more for this energy here, spirit. Archangel Michael, please. If you like this deck, this is the horror terror Okay. Yeah, we got the lovers. This could be a Gemini who did this. Maybe y'all are like me and you got a twin, twin flame out here. That's a Gemini. <laughs> that got an incubus or succubus attached. Yes, the shit is real out here. It's real. <laughs> this probably was a Gemini doing this shit. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. The lovers, this could have been a love connection. And you know about it. Pile three. All right. This is occult tarot. Let's see what demons are around you at this time. I'm getting told only three. So, <clears throat> pile. Okay. How long have these been around? They're telling me to roll the dice now. One year. What I say? Somebody's definitely coming to all three piles, man. Oh. <sighs> Okay, give me fresh energy spirit for pile three. I'm hearing not gonna happen. <laughs> not gonna happen. My spirit guide is like, not gonna happen. Somebody is coming to all three piles. Not gonna happen. Give me three spirit. What demons are around pile three? We have Nabirius, Nabirius. Seven of Pentacles. This could be crows. You can see a lot of crows or ravens or birds. We were just watching the crow. Shout out to my guy. We were watching the crow. We've been watching a lot of uh, horror movies and stuff. Like I said, I've been getting ready for Halloween and Christmas Halloween. Teaches art, sciences, and rhetoric. Restores loss, honors, and dignity. Takes honor and dignity from others. Yeah, this is definitely a narcissist doing this to you, Pio three seven of pentacles they're trying to take your inheritance your destiny your wealth you might be famous or have a lot of money coming to you they're trying to take your life savings i just heard teaches art sciences and rhetoric this could be a king of swords doing this or queen of swords okay we have horus this is the second time it came out <clears throat> i told you i wanted fresh energy spirits like nope not happening somebody's coming all three piles Knight of Swords, what I say, I just said that. I legit just said, this is a Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Destroys and burns all enemies when requested. Speaks of the creations of the world. Tells of the past and the future. This is definitely a fortune teller. Definitely a fortune teller. They're dabbling, I'm hearing. They're dabbling with tarot reading. Maybe they just started. Or they could be a tarot reader. Bottom of the deck. Asmodeus. Asmodeus. If you guys have not heard of Asmos Asmodeus, trust me, this is a powerful demon. Makes f men fly into passionate rage and desire. Destroys the happiness of married couples, wastes the beauty of virgins, revels, reveals the future. Excuse me, King of Wands. So I just heard Amare. This person tried to do a love spell on you, and we had the lovers, right? I just said it could be your twin. This could be your twin doing this, guys. Pile three. King of Wands. 
they want to break up your happy home if you're in another relationship. They don't like it. And I heard amare, which is a love spell. They did a, a love spell on you and it didn't work. <laughs> My spirit team said and it didn't work. But this is the type of energy they want to invoke in you. Asmodeus. Yeah. That's, that's a powerful demon though. But it's not working. It's not working on you. Pile three. Give me one more, please, spirit. Give me one more. I know I, I I know you said only three, but I want one more. What else are they invoking or trying to send to pile three? What's around them? Okay, here. Botus. Botus. Look at this is a snake. I told you I heard dragons and snakes. Gives answers of the past, present, and future. Again with the past, present, and future. Okay. This person could be scrying. They could be scrying. Reconciles friends and foes. I told you, this This is a past lover that wants you back, pile three. And my stomach is starting to hurt. So either you have stomach issues or they do. Archangel Michael, remove that from me, please. Yeah, they, they wanted me to say that about your stomach because I haven't had any stomach issues for a while. Yep. Bodice. Page of Swords. Oh, they're watching you? Oh, what's up? What's up, hater? <laughs> if you're on YouTube, Pile 3, they're watching you. Any kind of social media, they're spying into your life. They want to know what you're doing. They want to know who you're with. All that shit. Yep. And we have Athlete in the reverse. And my twin is an athlete. They work out a lot. Yep. He's a big meathead. All right, let's see. The spirit's telling me to take it, but I'm not going to take it. I'm going to shuffle. Pile three. They've been doing this for about a year. And... All right. My spirit team is telling me to go right into the charms and their names. So, let's do it. I don't think I did this for pile one, but... They're telling me to do it for pile three. Okay, we have an A, a K, an L, a U. So I just heard Lucy. A blank space. You know exactly who this is. We have a J, an E, and an N. So J is what I heard right off the bat. I heard Joey, Joseph, Jonathan, Jacob, Janet, Jocelyn, Jennifer, Joyce. Jenny, Jerome, Jay, Jacob, K, Kenny, Kendrick, Carrie with a K, K E R I. They're spelling it for me. Kim, Kimberly, Kendall, Cora, Carla, Kendrick, Kenneth. A, Anissa, Amelia, Amalia, Anthony, Abigail, Aaron, you, Udo, Uniqua, Euphelia, mm. blank space, you know who this is, I'm seeing Neil, Neil, they want you to kneel before them, I just heard, oh my god, we got L, Letty, Lucy, Lisa, Lionel, Laverne, Larry, Lenny, Lance, Laura, love spell. I just heard love spell. E, Evelyn, Inaki, Eddie. Eyes, eyes, they're watching you. Eyes. Iris, e Edis, E-R-E-S. I don't know, they're showing me Edis. I don't know if that's a name. And Nancy, Nick. Nora, Noreen, Naomi, Nelson, Nicole, Nani, Nanette, hold on a second, I just heard a name, your name could be Julie, you could be born in January, Julia, Julissa, 
They're telling me to spell it out. June. Somebody, they're born in June. This is definitely a, um, a Gemini. June. Their name is June. Lake. They live by the lake. You live by a lake. I'm hearing cake. You give this person a cake. Cane. Cane. Their last name could be Cane. I heard Karen. Karen right now. R-E-N. Karen. July. Somebody's born in July. They want you to lie. They want you to be known as a liar. They did something so that you'll lie. Or you're viewed as a liar or like you're not trustworthy. Okay. All right. Somebody you just threw up recently because I'm feeling it. Somebody just threw up. Or maybe you're pregnant. They're making you want to throw up. Ooh, somebody did a love on a mare on you. Maybe you slept with this person and they did it on Mare Pile 3. Ooh. Okay. Show me who this person is, spirit. <laughs> They're telling me to take it. Look, my spirit guide is like, take it. They're an athlete. I already know who this is. We're taking it. <laughs> Shadow attribute. Misuse of athletic ability for selfish ends. False sense of invulnerability and entitlement. Yeah, this is a meathead. This is an athlete. Don Juan in the reverse. Yep, also them. <sighs> Shadow. Using the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. That's this person. Child orphan. Feelings of abandonment that stifle maturation. Seeking inappropriate surrogate families. Yeah, they don't know who they are. This person does not know who they are. So they're always looking for a home. Networker. They're telling me take it. Networker. Conveys information only for personal gain. Spreads fear and falsehood. Yeah, this person will definitely tell your secrets. I'm getting told to keep going, y'all. <laughs> All right, we have exorcist. Exorcist. Shadow. Fear of facing your own demons. What's the reading? What's the reading, y'all? Come on, say it with me. Fear of facing your own demons. What demons are around you? Mm, let's, let's do one more, spirit. Let's do one more. Let me shuffle. One more, please. Who is this person? Trying to invoke demons on pile three. I could do hedonist. They're saying I could take it, but I want to take the top of the deck. We'll do it. We'll do it. They're like, take it. Pursues pleasure to the detriment of health. Indulges at the expense of others. Yeah, this is a hoe. He's a hoe. She's a hoe. They're, they're man whores. They have incubus succubus on them. Next, child eternal. Yep, child eternal. This person has arrested development. They did not progress past the age of 15, I'm hearing. Inability to grow up and be responsible. Extreme dependency on others for physical security. This person does not know how to hold down a job or a home, a residence. Give me one more. Prostitute. Look, if you slept with this person, they definitely did an amare on you or they had an incubus succubus attached, guys. Places material considerations and security above self-empowerment. This is a prostitute. They could also be hoeing, I'm hearing, for money, gay for pay. Ooh, ooh, this person is gay for pay. They use people too. They sleep with people and they, um, I just heard they couch surf. This person couch surfs? They couch surf. Somebody's in California because I'm hearing this song. I swag, I surf, I swag, I surf. I don't know who sings that song. Trust me, I do not know. But I'm hearing like somebody's in California. They're showing me palm trees. That's, that could be where they're at right now. Or that's where you're at. Give me one more. One more. One more. One more, spirit. Thank you. Yeah. Gambler. This person gambles. They go. Hmm. Okay. They gamble with their health. They gamble with money. They gamble with your heart. This person is not to be trusted. We have seven of swords here. They want you to look like they do. Like a fucking vagabond. Like a charlatan. Relying on luck rather than hard work you might have a destiny pile three and this person may have done something to try to take your destiny your north node i'm hearing 
All right, comment down below. Let me know if this resonates with you. Shouts out to Monet who won Patreon's one hour reading. Check me out on Patreon, Instagram. I do not keep people on my social media, y'all. Don't get butt hurt if I erase you. I just try to keep the energy new, okay? And shouts out to my other readers out there. Um, I know y'all watch me. Shouts out to you. Go check out Haley with the Mystic Adventures Tarot, guys. She's a great reader. All right, y'all. I'll holler, como dice mi mamá.